What's going on, guys? Drones and Dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. All right, guys. So today, I'm kind of excited, man. Today, man, I feel like a kid in a candy shop, man. Fat kid in a cake in a cake shop. You know what I'm saying, man? Shout out to my boy B over there at TDR Drones, e-bikes, and scooters, you guys. I guess you could say he sent me this for Christmas. Thank you, my brother. Shout out to my boy B over there. TDR Jones, e-bikes, and scooters, you guys. Now, of course, you guys know, I will drop a link below. I've been dropping the link for a long time. My boy has sent me so many cool drones, and this guy, nonetheless, is another one. This is the Bugs 3 Pro, you guys. Now, you guys know I am super excited about this. One, because I love MJXRC. I love their quads. I love the Bug series. And two, I myself have never had a Bugs 3 Pro. You guys know I, I got the Bugs 3. I think I've had, uh, since I've been flying drones, I've been flying drones this Christmas now, three years. This makes it officially three years uh, when Christmas is tomorrow. It's Christmas Eve today. Christmas tomorrow, it will be officially three years ago uh, from tomorrow that I got my first drone for Christmas, you guys. And I've been in this hobby ever since. And have been enjoying it guys i've been loving it and i have fell in love with the bugs 3 the original version now some of you may ask what is the difference between the pro and the original bugs 3 okay let me break it down the original does not have altitude hold which i love by the way you know what i'm saying you, i love a sporty flyer but nonetheless it does not have altitude hold it does not come with the camera though it does come with the camera mount you can mount with it just like this one um let me see what else uh you could do flips this one does not do flips it does not have gps this one has gps you know what i'm saying um this one has the ability to put this little it comes with this little like uh mount and the other one does too but this one comes with the you have the ability to get this 5g camera here you guys this little 5g camera and hook it up and you will have the ability to um have i can't talk to that you have the ability to have fpv directly from your phone you guys now the original buzz 3 doesn't come like that you have to buy the uh extra accessories to do that and you can only like put like a gopro or something on it like that and you can only do like line of sight you don't really have the actual ability to um shoot and record from the drone itself unless you get their camera that you put inside the nose of the bugs three you can do that but never here nor less this guy has gps altitude hold you can turn on the altitude hold on and off it has headless mode return to home guys uh loss of signal return to home waypoints all that extra good stuff and you can get this guy in a couple different kits now if you get the original version it doesn't come with the camera either the original version will just come with the mount you could put your own um like action camera that you want to put in just like the original bugs and then they got where you can get it with a 720p camera and then a 1080p camera this one is the 1080p da -da -da, the 1080p yeah man so once again shout out to my boy b over there at tdr drones e-bikes and scooters for sending this guy over like i said i will drop the link and then notice how this guy looks way more different than the actual original bugs 3 it almost doesn't even look like the same drone this guy looks more like a phantom it's just like a phantom mixed with the bugs or something like that and got them gold stripes on the arm the white body like the phantom this really looks in the way the camera looks has the big phantomish look you know and um here is the battery they also changed up the battery on this guy from the original now this has this proprietary connection here i think it's still the same size 7.4 volt yeah 2800 milliamp hours the same size as the original bugs 3 battery but just a different connector so you cannot use the same batteries from the original on this one so they changed up the battery and they also changed up the charger as well well of course since they changed up the battery you're gonna have to ch charge it a different way and the charger is a different like proprietary style connector here is the charger here of course you have this plug this into the wall you guys has that to go out here here you have lights on flashing green light and it'll stay solid once this battery is fully charged but you have a proprietary like dongle hanging off that you would slide the battery on so it's a different style of charging it you know what i'm saying it's not the most ideal way 
of charging it, but it works. And then of course you have the MJXRC transmitter here. You got your unlock and lock the motor buttons, your take off and land button, return to home, photo video button, on and off switch, headless mode button right here, and you have GPS on and altitude hold mode. So B side is GPS on, A is altitude hold mode, and then you have your small telemetry screen here, guys. Antennas up top, FPV phone mount, and you need four AA batteries for the back of this guy, and you should be good to go. Now, if you do get this guy with the camera, with their camera, you need to uh, download the Bugs Go app, which I've already downloaded. So let me go ahead and uh, get this guy booted up. Now, you guys know this guy requires a compass calibration. Now, I'm going to do it off camera, but I will show you just in case some of you guys are wondering. When you first pop the battery, there's no on and off switch. So when you first put the battery on, the, the drone is going to chime and do its little song. Duh, 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 duh. And then once you do that, you turn on it transmitter and you're gonna rotate this guy three times around clockwise turn it up on his nose and rotate it three more times then all the lights should go solid and you should be good to go just to wait for enough satellites before you take off all right i'm gonna go ahead and do all that the whole process because my phone's set up and we'll be good to fly this bugs 3 pro let's do it. all right guys so i have did the compass calibration so like i said you spin it around three times on this uh vertical then you spin it up three more times horizontal and you'll know you got it right guys when the lights go solid you'll have red lights in the front green in the rear okay guys so i've also bound to the transmitter we are waiting for satellites so you got 12 satellites so far height at zero this is a zero we're in mode two there's a telemetry from the tx and uh from the drone all right so all we have to do is hit this unlock button we'll be good to go we're connected to the bugs go app i know my phone's all cracked up this is my my little spare phone I use for my review, so never mind that. We're connected to the Buzz Go app. Now, this guy does have Follow Me, uh, all that good stuff, but we'll just see what we test out here today. This is just the first original flight of it, so I don't know if I'm going to be testing all the Follow Me. We're just going to see how it flies. Today is just the first initial flight of it, guys. Let's see how this guy flies, and let me get a feel for it. And we'll test all that other good stuff on a later date. All right? You dig? You dig, dig. So... Just waiting to see, let it gather some satellites. It's got like 12 here. Uh, I think, uh, I forget how many it has to have for a, a sufficient takeoff, but 12 or more, we should be all right. We should be all right. I think it goes up to like 18. So make sure this, this is in, this is on B, that's GPS. If you slide it to A, that's altitude hold mode, and your, your uh, GPS will be turned off, you guys. So let's go ahead and just fly this guy, the B3. Pro, you guys, super duper excited. Shout out to my boy B over there at TDR Drones, you guys. You know what? I forgot to put my SD card in here. You know what? Give me a moment. Let me put my SD card in. Here. We are back, guys. I forgot to mention this guy has an SD card slot on the side, so I wanted to make sure we get the best crisp, clean footage as possible. So I went ahead and popped the SD card out of my phone and popped it in there. So we should be recording to the card once we start this recording. We got 13 satellites so far. I want to do a level calibration. Okay, that flashes. So both joysticks down into the lower left corners would do a level calibration, all right? So, or gyro calibration anyways. So anyways, let's go ahead and just start the recording. Let us long press this from the transmitter. And start recording. So we got TF, so it's recording to the card. Recorded and started. So we should have recording started. We got 13 satellites so far, you guys. I'm gonna hit the unlock button. Okay, and then I'm just press takeoff. Let's go take off. Now it should just hover there that we're in GPS mode. It shouldn't wander or anything. I'm just gonna let it hover there for a second just to make sure we got an accurate lock. 14 satellites is what it's reading, you guys. 14 satellites. And it seems to be hovering there pretty steady. I just want to make sure we're not getting any toilet bowl effect or anything like that. Image seems to be pretty good. This is recording 1080p, I believe, 24 frames per second, I believe. Check it out, guys. The B3. A bang, bang. <laughs> I love the way it looks. I'm loving the lights on that boy. Check it out. So it seems to be all right. It seems to be hovering pretty good. Let's see if we can uh, see if let's test it. See if it go. It should go back to its spot. 
Yeah, check it out. It goes right back to its position. So if I pull it out the way, it goes right back to its current spot. No toilet bowling. We're good to go, you guys. So let's go ahead and just fly this guy around. Let's get a, let's get a feel for it. I don't think there's any speeds or rates. I didn't really read the manual. You know I don't read the manual, guys. I just got it out here to fly. But I'm just going real slow and docile right now. Just getting a feel for it. Checking it out. Checking it out. Check, check, check. Boy, them LEDs are bright. Now, it is a foggy, gloomy day too, you guys. So keep that in mind. It's not bright. The sun is not even really out. It's foggy as heck. And it's a little breeze too. So we're flying. You know what I want to do? Well, we got good battery. I'm going to bring it over here. Bring it over here in front of me here. So now that's directly in front of me, we're going to push it out and see how far we can go out before that Wi Fi breaks up. See where we can go. So I'm nine meters above me and distance is six meters, it says. We're gonna push it out. We got 17 satellites currently. So directly in front of me, I wanna go out until that Wi-Fi breaks up, you guys. Let's do it. And I'll let you guys know when the Wi-Fi breaks up. So we're out. 70 meters, 80 meters, 90 meters, and let's go up to about 25 meters high. We're 25 meters high, we're 130 meters out, no breakup yet, 140, 150, 160, 173, no breakup yet, I can still see it. 193, 200 meters, no breakup, still going. 222, wow, this is great. 240, it got a little glitchy there, but we're still going. At 259, it got a little glitchy, and it says air graph disconnected. So at 259, guys, oh, we're back, we're back. Uh-oh, can we still go a little bit more, 260? Can we hit 300 before that Wi-Fi completely get glitches up? But at 259, it started to glitch up and get laggy. But we're hitting, we're still going now. I still got it back. We're hitting 300 meters. So I got 300 meters and I still got Wi-Fi feed, guys. I still got it. I can still yaw it around. I still got control. I can tell where I'm at. And we're at 312 meters on the controller. You can see it, 312 meters. That's pretty good. We're all been hitting the water. We're at the edge of the pond there. I still got Wi-Fi feed. Wow, that's pretty good. 330. So I'm going to stop there at 330, guys. I still got Wi-Fi feed. That's pretty good. That's pretty good connection out here. That's awesome. I'm going to hit the return to home from right here. So I press the return to home. Wow, I still got Wi-Fi feed. That's amazing. So it should be coming back to me. Yep, it should be coming back. What, was I, what did I say? 330 meters? That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good distance, guys. I see it coming on back. Wow, I'm impressed with that. I am very impressed with that. I'm very... Now, when it turned around to return home, the feed broke up, but I got it back now. But it went out to 330, and I still had feed. I could have went further, but you really don't want to press it too far, guys. You know what I'm saying? And look, here's our return to home, and that boy come right back to you. Look at that, I took off from this yellow line here. Oh, that's gonna be pretty accurate. That's gonna be pretty nice. And that's all I needed to do is return into line of sight and I could take back control over it. But that thing is gonna return almost on a dime. <laughs> that's, this drone is awesome. <laughs> There's a yellow line right there, guys. And it's, look, look at this. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Not too bad. What is that like? Maybe two feet off? 
here's the yellow line right here you guys it's like two feet off that thing took off that is amazing i'm gonna stop that recording let me long press it stop that recording that's amazing guys so we only got we only got one battery or one bar down of our battery life we still got three bars left so we still got plenty of flight time let's go ahead and start the recording again recording started yep recording started let's go ahead and uh unlock the motors and take off again that was amazing guys 330 plus meters and still had wi-fi feed we was clear out to the pond that's pretty good i am very impressed with that return to home was pretty accurate so that's pretty good um start to lose a little altitude there or the wind was trying to get on it so um let me see if i could get it up and push it out just a little bit more that thing looks awesome too it looks like a phantom I'm gonna attempt I want to get it away from this tree because I want to attempt to try to do a circle me but I don't know how wide that circle me is going to be because I want to get it up there and let's try to do circle me so that's me to start the orbit oh uh, two bars we're getting into low battery at uh, two bars so right now it's doing the orbit that's the orbit mode right there and I don't have the radius set so you have to preset the radius this controller is beeping at me at two bars so we want I won't let it beep too long but as you can see it's doing the orbit you guys it's doing a complete full circle a complete orbit so let me hit that all you have to do is hit the orbit button to cancel out of that guys we're gonna bring this guy in so at two at two bars which is half your battery life this guy starts to beep at you which I don't like that but it is what it is you know what I'm saying it's keeping it is being safe being safe but this thing is awesome man once again man shout out to my boy b over there at tdr drones e-bikes and scooters i'm gonna stop my recording so i save something recording success look at this thing man all up in your fitness all up in your grizzle your boy drones and dogs the boy with the bug three pro you know what i'm saying look at that look at that look at that Look at that. That boy is awesome. Yeah, man. So, go ahead and get this guy down for a landing. Let's hit the land button. And it should have just, just come down real smooth. Look at that. That thing comes around real nice and smooth, you guys. Look at that. Nice, smooth landing. Man, holla at your boy. <laughs> Your boy Drones and Dogs go over there. Check out my boy B at TDR Drones, e-bikes and scooters. Awesome guy. You know, Merry Christmas, everybody. I appreciate you guys for checking in with me today. Hope you guys have an amazing Christmas. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm your boy Drones and Dogs. I am out. Deuces.